Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $122,734.97. In the past year, I am up $50,573.66. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $30,482.85. Today was a green day for me. I was up $1,443.24 during the day. After hours, I am up $95.85. Let's go over for my positions. For my options, I'm selling SoFi $11 covered calls. These expire November 22nd. My total return, I am down $1,792. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $759. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $932. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $220. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $84. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,203. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $250. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $3,511. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $191.51. My average cost, $188.27. My total return, $972.24. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $11.28. My average cost, $5.70. My total return, $35,722.05. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $148.94. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, I am down $94.50. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $58.49. My average cost, $54.86. My total return, $1,454. This is a margin account. My margin total is $107,346.11. My margin use is $61,077.51. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $36,268.60 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $59,220.21. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.10. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So green day today, I think I was talking about Last time in my portfolio update, I was talking about how SoFi reported earnings and they had plenty of good news. However, they actually went down after they reported earnings yesterday. However, that quickly changed and I feel like now I missed my opportunity because I was saying last time how it was at, you know, $10.50, like the mid 10s, right? And I was thinking if it goes down to 10 or even below 10, I'm going to invest heavily into SoFi 
because they had plenty of good news to report, but they went down for some reason. It didn't make sense to me. But today, it went up. It went up like, like 7% today. Yeah, 7.16% today. So, now this move makes a lot more sense because, like I said, I was reading the earnings report and I was reading articles on it. There were plenty of good news. SoFi shows signs of growth. Like they're, they grew their subscribers. They made more money. I mean, it is what it is. So they have plenty of good news to report, but they went down a lot yesterday. And I didn't understand it because usually when this happens and a company, you know, reports plenty of good news during their or during their earnings, the stock goes up. But uh, the move yesterday, I, I didn't feel like it was right. But today it went up 7.16%. Uh, whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure there'll be more opportunities for me to buy more. Plus, I'm already very heavily invested in SoFi. I have 6,400 shares, so that's plenty of shares already. But it was very tempting for me to buy more, especially if it dropped down to 10 or below. And who knows, maybe that could still happen. But we'll see. For now, that's pretty much it. My SoFi covered call um, is expiring November 22nd. Right now, it's pretty much the end of November, so about 22 more days until my next uh, option expires, and then I'll decide what to do. Right now, SoFi is above $11. It's at $11.28, so I want to keep my shares of SoFi. So if it does stay above 11 on November uh, 22nd, the expiration date, then I'm going to roll these out so I can keep my shares of SoFi. I believe in the stock long term, so I want to hold on to my shares. And then everything else expires in December. So we'll see what happens with those. If anything, I might roll out my Amazon covered calls, but right now it's like very, very close. I chose a strike price of 190. Right now, Amazon's at 191. So super, super close. Target and Delta Airlines, I don't really care that much about. I'm, I'm comfortable leaving them where they are. I'm comfortable leaving them uh, to expire yeah, in the money. I, it doesn't really matter that much to me. I'm, I'll be happy just to collect their premium, to be honest, um, and to make uh, some profit. I know I got a question earlier about um, how to calculate the exact amount because I know sometimes I say um, that I made some profit even though it's in the money, but I didn't really say exactly how to calculate that. So in a future video, I'm planning to make a video about how to calculate this exact specific um, profit when your covered call goes in the money. It's actually pretty simple now that I think about it, but... Um, Percentage-wise, I usually try to aim for something that's higher than uh, what it would cost for my um, the margin interest rate. So, since I'm paying around six percent uh, annual interest, I try to aim above 0.5 percent a month. So, my rate 6.05 percent, basically six percent. There's 12 months in a year. So that comes out to about half a percent uh, per month. Well, hold on, let me. So 6.05 divided by 12. Yeah, about half a percent every month. So I try to aim percentage wise to gain more than that. And most of the time, I'm happy just gaining two to three percent a month, like not that much, you know? Pretty conservative. Well, not that much for me. Some people, 2% a month, that's like a crazy amount, right? Because that comes out to about 24% a year. Um, that's a lot, <laughs> right? For some people, so. But uh, yeah, I try to aim around 
two percent, something like that, uh, a month. If I if I just really care about just making some profit, um, even if it stays uh, in the money, some in the money covered calls, I try to get a two percent gain a month overall. If I'm doing that, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll make that in a future video. I'll explain more in depth in the future video about that, but. For now, this is it for my portfolio update. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.